Hello everybody, this is Kevin Becker. Um, doing a quick follow-up to a blog post about click fraud and identifying bad traffic on your website. Uh, I did a previous video specifically about display campaigns um, and wanted to do a second one specific to identifying the same, tra the same bad traffic on your website using your Google Analytics. And so I want to make sure that you guys, one, don't judge me because you see I only have 32 users. Uh, this is a new site building out the content first before I really start doing any kind of marketing or sharing, so don't judge. But I have run into a nice little spam slash bot that keeps hitting my site, and I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to find it and how to block it. Um, I'm also going to show you, because this the, the process I'm about to take is very similar, the same process you take when you're trying to identify um, click fraud within a display campaign, but instead of doing it in audiences, um, sorry, instead of doing it through all traffic channels, you'd want to do the same exact process through campaigns, right? Because if you're using um, a built URL or a UTM or a tracking URL, which every single programmatic vendor or display vendor that you use should be using it, using one, and you should be able to see all your campaigns that you're running here. Um, if you don't, huge red flag, probably shouldn't do, be doing business with them anyway. But I'm going to show you this specifically, this, this method. Um, to identify just bad traffic in general. Um, and so right away, I'm just in the home screen, uh, but you can already see something's happening here. I've got 32 users over a week period, 32 sessions, great looking traffic, right? But the only problem here is I've got 100% balance and zero duration. So this is time spent on site. It's virtually impossible for a human being to go to a site and not be there for at least one second, two seconds, right? So if I go somewhere and hit back into a browser and back into Google, or I go the, uh, go somewhere on my phone and close it, it's going to show at least one second. It's very rare that you can do this, especially 30 times in 30 unique sessions and record zero time. Um, the other issue that might be happening here outside of bad traffic is a bad analytic install, um, which you can vet using... Uh, um, Google Tag Assistant, uh, which is a Chrome plugin, and I'll show you again in another video how to do that. Um, but that isn't what's happening here, and I'll show you how to see that it's actually fraudulent traffic. So what I want to do first is on the left-hand side here of my analytics, I've got a bunch of different categories. As you can see, audience, real-time acquisition, behavior, conversions, and what I want is the acquisition, so I click on this. Um, and I want all traffic first. It's the very first thing I'm going to look at, and then channels. So this is showing all my traffic and all the channels where it's coming from. And on my site, you're going to see two. You're going to see direct and social, right? And so within both of these, I'm not seeing any activity, zero session duration, and 100% bounce rate. I'm going to focus on this direct channel first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click into it. It's going to open it into another window. Um, and so right now, this is all of my direct traffic. And you can see here, Google actually defaults to what landing page it's on. And so this is the page that direct traffic hit um, and then shows me activity on each individual page. And you can see super sketchy looking, right? So I've got three people to my home page, zero time on site, 100% bounce. Here's my blog, my work page, um, one of my blog posts, all 0%. And so this looks really bad to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to see where it's coming from. So I'm going to go up here to the secondary dimension. And I'm going to type in something. Um, it's harder to find if you just go to users and go find it. Um, so I'm going to do it for to save you all um, time because I know you're busy. I'm just going to type in network domain. And so as you can see, it's under the user category network domain. So what this is going to do is show exactly where the information is coming from or where the traffic is coming, coming from. And as you can see, I've got a lot of traffic coming from this individual domain and it's hitting my site over and over and over again. Um, so actually, you see there's 28 rows. I'm going to expand this out to 50 and we're going to see a lot of the same stuff. And this bot or this fraud traffic is showing up as a unique user almost every single time and it's doing no session, no time, no time duration, 100% bounce. And so this is bad. <clears throat> if I was dealing with a, with a display campaign, um, I would see the very same, I do the seri very same process under campaigns, right? Hit campaigns, all campaigns. I'd select um, 
one of the campaign lines, open it up, and then go to a network domain up here, and it'd show you the exact same information. Um, generally, what you want to see here is stuff like Verizon, uh, Bell South, if that's still around. I may have just aged myself, but Comcast, DirecTV, any of those networks uh, that we're generally familiar with. You can also do something that I like to do is copy this bad boy and then look it up on the internet. And so if I just type it in and search it, it's got a .NET to it, so it's actually going to redirect to this random site. Right, this is actually a mail server, so it's probably not. It probably has something to do with it, um, and you see it's in a different language, also super sketchy. What I'm going to do is spam. I'm going to type in spam, and then I'm gonna put quotations around it, so Google knows I'm looking for that exact same thing, and the word spam. Um, so when that happens, it comes up in about eight results, but you can see on a bunch of different forums uh, there are people looking for or or actually posting about there's my exact domain and people are looking for or, or uh, referencing spam in these individual pages matter of fact here's one the anti-hacker alliance which is a big forum about spam or bad uh, bad uh, internet traffic and you can see there's the exact domain right there um, so I need to block this right because I don't want it you can't really stop it from hitting your site but you can block it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to this little star guy, um, little sprocket. I'm going to hit it, and I'm going to create a filter. So over here in view, uh, filters, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to add a brand new one, add new filter, and I'm going to name this almost exactly what uh, I searched in my uh, Google search earlier. So spam block, and then the name of the domain there so I know exactly what it is. Uh, select filter type and I want to exclude it, right? I want to block it from my analytics and then I want to touch, I want to uh, exclude this domain right here, the ISP domain um, and then I want it to exactly equal to that. Uh, so a nice thing about analytics is it actually helps you verify it. Um, oh, and then I want to obviously paste it down here. So this is the IP I want, the internet um, domain I want to block. Um, and then I want to verify it. So this will tell me if I built it right. And look at here, I've got 30 sessions, 30 page views. So this is a correct, uh, um, this is the correct way to build this out. So it is an ISP, and I did put this incorrectly because Google actually verified that if this is blocked, it'll block 30 sessions and 30 page views. Which before, if you go look at it, it's very, very similar to this line. Uh, I've got another one in here. I probably want to look at the block. Uh, but that's what you want to do. I want to save that. And so going forward, I don't have to worry about this individual domain showing up in my traffic. Again, you can use the same exact um, process to identify bad traffic. I don't know if I'd block it from here. Um, I'd actually just pull the report, look at your domain, your network domain report, and then um, I uh, notify your programmatic vendor that you're actually getting bad traffic. Um, I'll try to find some on some example sites because it's all over the place um, to show you a real example uh, later, uh, but right now this can help. Uh, it's a really quick way to identify bad traffic. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, concerns, or um, want me to take a look at somebody, please reach out. Thank you again for your time. You guys are awesome. Have an amazing day.